Good morning and win forever. Thank God for you. You're watching now. God has purpose that you be here. God bless you and God bless you. Today's episode will be very short. In fact, you will think of it's not very necessary, but it is a very, very important part. Very short. I want to make it very short. There was a time I was talking about this book that the Tongues author uh, talked about and published that is not authored but published, The Servant. It was T.B. Joshua's prophet book. And um, now, today, I just want to talk about this one book, The Mirror. This is a very wonderful book. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. We are standing out and we want to talk about this book. Welcome back and God bless you so much. Now, we have this book and I know some of you have read it. If you have read this book in any other way, The Mirror. This is one of the very powerful books Prophet T.B. Joshua uh, authored, wrote by himself. And uh, everything detailed here is a very, very uh, spiritual. Now, I want you, if you have read this book and finished just like me, I want you to go to the comment section and call your friends to like this video, share it together, and let's mobilize the grace of God around here and see. So I want to just review some few things in it and then send you out. <laughs> Go and get the book. I know you can get it. Now, the cover has a very strong introduction to the flavor of the book, The Mirror, Prophet T.B. Joshua. An effective witness not only knows his faith, but shows it. You understand that? That's a slogan that has been taking root. So I'm not going to uh, acknowledgement of the author. The, of course, the author is Prophet T.B. Joshua. I want to take it to the first step of release, uh, dedication. Now read a very small portion and then go to something else. This book is dedicated to all children of God who are fighting without but filled with fear within. Now, Elisha said to his servant, Do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And this scripture is found in 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 17. Nevertheless, I say to you that those that are fighting for you, protecting you, and taking care of you, are more than the forces of the adversity. And you read this book, I pray for you, and Elisha prayed for his servants. Lord Jesus opened their understanding, so they will doubt no more, worry and fear no more. Open their hearts to faith. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Okay, believe someone is working out your answers. Now, in the book, the contents, you will find a lot of things, not just introduction. But we have personalities and the characters in the Bible that have always shown faith. In short, this book is a powerful faith, weaponry. And uh, so if you want to boost your faith, I think uh, uh, as much as you want, you can share yourself in these truths or within the personalities and the places where some encounters of faith actions took place, like uh, Abraham, Joseph, Centurion, the prostitute, the Canaanite woman, I'm skipping some, the Ethiopian eunuch, Paul and Silas. And then this book goes on, talks and talks in between, talks and questions, study questions here and there. Now, when you reach up to the end part of it, we will have some uh, uh, congratulation statements. You have finished your reading of this book, The Mirror kindly accept my congratulations. Remember, however, that as Christians, our roadmap is the Bible. Roadmap is the Bible. 
And this reminds me of the disciple of Prophet T.B. Joshua that came with the ministry called the Roadmap is doing great and God has blessed him with the same grace. The more we read it with devotion, the more effective we will be for God. That is the Bible now. So you need to do, pray for your church, pray for your pastor, your leaders in church, deacons, evangelists, and all the members may be filled with the Holy Spirit and be used by Him. So the power of faith is in this book. So if you have read this book, please go to the comment section and keep talking to all of us here. Someone will take some actions and find their steps to be favorable to stand up. Well, though it's raining here, El Nino is so much uh, evident in Kenya. I don't know <laughs> whether some other countries like uh, Nigeria, South Africa, and abroad uh, use the word abroad. Abroad means someone who is across the ocean, either continental or Pacific, Indian Ocean, Black Ocean, or etc., etc. So it's just an English thing. So this book is a very vital thing. And uh, basically, it is a pioneer more, Prophet T.B. Joshua, the Scorn, and Emmanuel TV. So you need to read this book and find how to get along with it. This is Blevoy, and I am Timothy Profitable, and this is the day the Lord has made. So, that you rejoice and be glad at it. Subscribe if you have not done that for this channel. And like again one more time, comment again and share with your friends. Help us to build this channel even more. God bless you.